Anchor. Is it right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not around today. Gosh, that's silly. Well, what's up? Everything. It's all going wrong. Yeah, tell me about it. I mean, after everything we've done to get Alan his job back. Well, David said he was going to apologise. He did, but Alan still won't come back. Yeah, but I need him. I'm really slowed under here. Yeah, but he don't want anything to do with David anymore. So he's got to come back. Oh, I'll have to talk to him. So, David ain't having it all his way. But he was all right with me about the thefts. He promised me to fix everything. Yeah, he's done that all right. Why, oh, what's happened? Well, he's changed the locks to the office and no one's having the keys but him. But if he thinks it was me who took the money... Well, he won't tell anyone that, will he? So he's saying it was someone from the outside. He's just using it as an excuse to take over. This is all Robbie's fault. And he's walking about without a care in the world. See, well, I'll give him something to think about when I see him. Well, it's about time someone did. Oh, come on, not now. Why not? Well, I've got work to do. All my hands are oily. All right, I'll go then. Well, what did you want anyway? It's about tonight. Well, am I seeing you tonight? Yeah, I said we'll go out with Natalie. Well, do we have to? I just want to be with you. Well, you can be. You're taking us clubbing. The two of you? Yeah, we've decided. Oh, come on, Bianca. Oh, come on. I owe it to her. She's been brilliant lately covering up for me. All right, well, I suppose you could do with a bit of cheering up. Before we go to that new place on the ice street. Oh, you've got it all planned, have you? Well, I've heard it's really good. Yeah, and I've heard the beer's about a fiver a bottle. Oh, come on. You can afford it. Well, I can't say no to you, can I? I know you'd be all right about it. Oh, you did, did you? Yeah. Be good, anyway. We'll meet round Natalie's. You're going to dress up, aren't you? You might give me a bit more notice. I'll make it up to you, I promise. See you later. Ta. Where did Natalie get to? I don't know. She's behind us. Oh, should wait up a bit, really. Did you have a good time tonight? Yeah, I feel totally wrecked. I'm not surprised you hardly stopped. Mm, didn't lose bad yourself. So what if you just met me there? Would you have come on to me? Might I let you pick me up? Did you see all the blokes looking at you? Yeah, why'd you like it? You could have had any of them. <laughs> so what are you doing with me? Well, you're good looking and you're really sweet. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> you're dead clever and a brilliant company director. I thought you were after me money. <laughs> I feel really bad about Natalie sitting there on her own all night. I've well, to dance loads of times. Yeah, but she's hardly going to get a fella dancing with you, is she? Well, she got one in the end, didn't she? <laughs> Did you see him? <laughs> oh, that. Darren's gonna take me home. Night then. Night. Night, Dal. Night, Dal. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least they got somewhere to go. Oh, well, you can stay here. This can be our place. Yeah, one day they'll put a plaque up for us. <laughs> all right, better get you home. Not yet. You can't stay here all night. Mm, I wish we could. Things are terrible at home at the moment. Why, well, what's up? Mum and Alan fighting. And they always? This is different. I ain't speaking to her. Well, they'll get over it. But she's waiting up for me. Not this late. Things was always worse when she was breaking up with a fella. Oh, come on, Bianca. Making a fuss over us, wanting to do things with us. Look, they're not going to break up. <laughs> Making us think we're the most important things in our lives. Then she starts crying. It's horrible. Everything's all right. I spoke to Alan yesterday. He says he's going to come back to work. Mm. It'd be terrible if Alan left. It's not going to happen. <sighs> Deep with the rest of them. Sooner or later. When my dad left, I thought things would never be the same. But we survived. Why can't they just get on and be happy? Parents, eh? Who needs them? Nothing but grief. <sighs> They gotta mess up their own lives and they wanna mess up ours. We've got each other, don't we? Yeah. It's always be nice to each other. Never fight or be unhappy. Yeah. Alan! What are you doing here? What's it look like? I'm working. Why aren't you at the car lot? Because I'm working here. I thought you said you liked it. It was a proper job. Look, Bianca, just forget it, yeah? Alan! Oh, hello. I thought you said Alan was coming back. Well, I thought he was. He said he was. But now David says he ain't. Oh, that's great, isn't it? So I've took the blame for the money going missing for nothing. I, I tried. Oh, do you think it's fun having to beg to David for something I didn't do? I'm sorry. He had no intentions of Alan coming back in the first place. Well, he certainly didn't want to talk about it this morning. Oh, he's a two-faced lying creep, that's what he is. Why would it be so against Alan coming back? 
That makes sense. Because it was your idea to take him on in the first place. That's why. Yeah, he didn't like that. Yeah, but he liked having me in his power, though, didn't he? Having to be nice to him. What do you mean? Has he touched you? No. I had to be grateful to him, though, didn't I? For Alan's sake. Kill him. He's just taken advantage of the old situation all along. Not anymore. Bianca? Ricky, where you been? Everyone's been looking for you all afternoon. Have they? I've had enough of the old thing. Where have you been? Nowhere. Just walking around. What's happened? I had a row with David. Yes, yeah, so have I. You tried to buy me a drink in the Vic. As if nothing had happened, I couldn't believe it. You had the nerve to call me incompetent. You're a brilliant mechanic. Mm, not according to him. It's just stand the workshop, Rick, and, you know, let me get on with making the real decisions. He can't get away with that. And Pat, she's just sat there. I might have known she'd take his side. Oh, it's so unfair. I feel like walking away from the old thing. Why should you have to do that? He treats me like I'm his paid assistant. Yeah, well, he ain't your boss. That company's much mine as is. Look, you just got to stand up to him. I'm not buying rubbish cars and complaining how long it takes me to get him running again. Oh, he'd be stuck without you. Yeah. OK? I think it's time he realised it really makes this company tick. Look, let's talk about it, eh? It'll make you feel better. No, I can't. Well, where are you going? I've got to get this sorted out. Well, what are you going to do? I'll, I'll try and call you later, all right? Ricky, where will you go? Well, when will I see you again? Look, why can't I come with you? But I don't care about all that. I just want to. Look, I've got to go. Will you ring me? Bianca? What? Is everything all right? Yeah, why shouldn't it be? Well, I don't know. I just, you just sounded a little bit upset. Can't I even have a phone conversation in here without everyone listening? Oi. I'm sick of this ass! Don't you talk to your mum like that. I wasn't listening. I just, you just sounded a bit upset. Yeah, but I'm not. Oh, well, pardon me for taking an interest in your life. Look, I just want to be left alone. Oi! Your mum's just trying to help, that's all. You can tell David Wicks to stay away from me. What's he been up to? Keep trying to chat me up. After all he's done to Alan and... Look, it's just everything, all right? And maybe you're mistaken. No, it's everything. I hate him. I really hate him. 